सो दिस इज आर रैपिड माइनर मिनी प्रोजेक्ट बैंक एम्प्लॉय कंटिन्यूशन प्रोडिक्शन यूजिंग रैपिड माइनर सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव यूज दिस फॉलोइंग डेटा बेस टू प्रोडिक्ट वेदर एम्प्लॉयज विल कंटिन्यू विद द बैंक और नॉट दिस हैज फील्ड्स लाइक कस्टमर आई डी सर नेम क्रेडिट स्कोर नेशनैलिटी जेंडर एज नंबर ऑफ लोन्स यूजर एट टेकन बैलेंस एज अ क्रेडिट कार्ड और नॉट एस्टिमेटेड सैलरी एंड इज द कस्टमर एक्साइटेड टू कंटिन्यू नॉट so as you can see there are some uh, missing values in this and also in in gender column the, instead of male there is just m or instead of female there is just an f so these problems we have to address so with this replace option we can replace the gender wherever there is m it will be replaced by male and by this option wherever there is f by this operator whether there is f it will be replaced by female then we declare the missing values the values uh, balance and estimated salary have missing values in them so we declare them and then replace the missing values with average so this is the final data base that has been created by that process and i have stored it so now we will be performing operations on this database we start with logical regression logistic regression special attributes i have deselected the following attributes as they have no bearing on whether the customer is going to continue with the bank or not now we have converted the nationality from nominal to numerical because only numerical attributes are necessary for our uh, logistic regression then we have also omitted Spain, spanish nationality even after converting to numerical you can still uh, deselect the attributes then set role excited to continue have set it as label because uh, we want our confusion matrix to predict whether the users are excited to continue or not so that is the label then i have split the data into two parts 30% and 70% After splitting the data, seventy percent have passed to logistic regression, so that the model is uh, created, and then thirty percent to apply model. So the model is evaluated. So it will apply the logistic regression model on the thirty percent data, and performance operator will create the confusion matrix. So this is the output of the process. This is the output. This is the confusion matrix. It can it has predicted true yes. It has correctly predicted twenty. To know it has wrongly predicted twelve. True, yes, it has wrongly predicted five. It has correctly predicted. The accuracy of it is sixty-two point two two percent. This is the example set prediction. Yes, if this value, if confidence value is greater than five, it will predict yes. Otherwise, it will predict no. This is confidence yes, and this is confidence no. So now we go use uh, perform. now we perform decision tree and random forest using cross validation we have so selected attributes we have deselected all these three attributes from the list as they have no uh, they don't contribute towards the output then we have set excited to continue as label again and then cross validation firstly we apply the decision tree model uh, the uh, we apply the model and the performance operator creates the confusion matrix so we apply the decision tree model this is the decision tree model 56% accuracy 2 yes 79 correctly predicted 2 no 62 wrongly predicted 2 yes 4 wrongly predicted and 2 no 5 correctly predicted this is the decision tree so as you can see it has created a decision tree a proper decision tree then we deselect this and we uh, run the random forest algorithm so now i'm going to run the random forest algorithm when we run the random forest algorithm it has 51% accuracy it corrected 53 yes and correctly and it predicted 43 no wrongly it predicted 13 yes wrongly and 24 no correctly this is the random forest model it creates multiple models it creates multiple diagrams tree diagrams and uh, this is the these are the multiple trees that random forest algorithm has created so this is a, this concludes our project